So this is something my father-in-law dug out of his desk, and he said, uh, "Hey, I know you make you like to make videos about video game artifacts," and so he uh, he said, "Here you go," and that's pretty neat. This is the pocket game player. Check this out. We have a screen that folds up. Aha! Uh -huh. Now you see this little loose bit of plastic up here. That's actually not damaged. This has a covering on it, like when you buy like uh, I'm trying to think of another like a camera. They usually have these bits of plastic that cover the display. Um, we're looking at two triple A's in the back. But anyway, uh, so let's take a look at what, what this actually is. What I find confusing, if you look at it without even turning it on, that looks like a Tetris game, doesn't it? Well, yeah, these have some more. Anyway, so let's fire it up. And we have some stuff there. And I'm trying to play this backwards so you can see it. Essentially what this is, is a, for best I can figure out, we have a multi-game um, device. This is showing you game one, right? And that appears to be a shmup kind of thing. How do we switch to the next game? Oh, this is, the arrow keys are changing the level. Oh, see the numbers on the right side? Try levels. Wait. Ah, uh, I don't know what these buttons do. Yucky, yuck. Okay. And this button changes the game, I guess. You see on top A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G. I don't. This is clearly like a Tetris board, but when I was playing with this earlier, I could not find. It's a racing game. Any version of Tetris. See, there's a breakout. Um, how do we start the game? Start. There we go. Oh, let's turn the sound on. Oh, that'd be good. <laughs> oh, these are tanks. Yes, get them. Wow, listen to that. You know, for an old LCD screen game, the sound is actually pretty neat. Oh, they got me. All right, there we go. That's our menu. So, A1 is apparently a tank game. C, well, let's get to, get back to B. Oh, yeah, B. And we have start. And this is the car game. Whoa! Pressing the button makes me go really fast. What kind of sound is that? Go, 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 go. And B. B's cars. Let's check out. Oh, that's a nice heart. Hi. There we go. Breakout. So this is like a paddle and ball kind of thing. And holding the button in this type of game, it, it just kind of speeds it up so you can get a little faster gameplay. Let's try D. What on earth? What? Oh, this is like the the snake kind of game. Okay, and you go for the you go for the little thing, and your snake gets a little longer. You see what we got? Um, sorry. What on earth? What was that? I don't understand. <laughs> what is this? Oh, um, I, if I press the button, I can shoot. What's here? So I guess this is like a really primitive shmup, I suppose. Let's try F. That's something similar. EF means G we haven't done. Let's try G. Oh boy. <laughs> what? What on earth? Oh, what is that? I don't understand. What? 
What is this? <laughs> Where's the bell? Oh, I'm moving it. What? What other? I, I don't understand. What's the bell doing? I don't know. Well, this is the pocket game player. It has a, a halfway decent version of Snake on it. Um, sounds pretty cool, but very, very confusing. They tried to put a lot of different games on, on, on a little uh, primitive device, and it's an example of something trying to be everything and eventually ending up being not a whole lot. And, you want this, kiddo? Too busy eating? Eating first. All right. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching!